Yo, so uh, it's currently 1.11, and I just got done listening to the new Eminem album. That was such an amazing album, holy shit. The production was amazing. Um, the features were pretty funny, but were also really good. I actually was expecting a Royce of 5.9 feature, but I didn't. I was not disappointed, though, with um, the track Fuel with Jid. That was my favorite track up until Temporary. The song that he did for his daughter, Haley, if he were to die, right? And it's crazy because, like, his voice on some of these tracks, like, they give you, like, encore, uh, TES, uh, the Eminem show type of, like, his voice, like, his Slim Shady type of voice and accent. Like, it, it's just, like, it's, like, it's, like, the fact that this guy is 51 years old and he still can pull off these accents are crazy. But the production's really good. Uh, Guilty Conscience 2 is also another one of my favorites. The song where he's doing this ping pong battle between Eminem and Slim Shady. Uh, Antichrist with Bizarre. That was pretty. I like how Bizarre just randomly pops up at the end. Um, but yeah. Um, I remember, like, originally when I was listening to this album, like, at the. Like, at straight up at midnight, the lyrics on Genius weren't even, like, correct. Because the the people on Genius and stuff like that, because I think I believe it's not like actually like by pe- like it's 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 a lyric website, right? So it's like there's actual people that just like they hear it for the first time and they're typing it down at the same time uh, while they're hearing the lyrics and stuff like that. So while I was looking at some of the lyrics in like the first like ten tracks from Renaissance to Road Rage, it was just like a shit show with the lyrics because like. Lyrics were being cut off. Lyrics had question marks, like question marks with uh, parentheses around them. And it was like, what? It's like they didn't even know what the hell they were talking about. But that was a really good. Um, honestly, you know, I, I do like that he's continuing the tradition of skits. Um, uh, that whole I remember there was this uh, the the song Habits I I, I catch the uh, D12 fight music sound effect in there which is pretty cool um, I know he mentioned a lot of I know he mentioned Caitlyn Jenner a lot which is really funny he mentioned Caitlyn Jenner a lot uh, Christopher Reeves is still on Eminem's wordplay uh, Ja Rule catch a stray um, who else caught a stray. Um, Megan Thee Stallion caught a stray like twice or three times. It was a really good album, though. This is, honestly, I could say this is my favorite Eminem album he's put out since Marshall Mathers' LP2. I'm not saying that his last album wasn't bad. His last album was actually pretty good. Not not the, the not the deluxe version, but the music to be murdered by, like the actual original version that released in January. January 17th of 2020, that was a really... I like that album, but this album... I think it's better. Fuel, uh, temporary, um, road rage, which I was kind of confused. I thought I, I probably have to re-listen to the song and get the message more. But when I was reading the lyrics, he just like the first couple of verses, like the first two verses, were just about like fat people and shit like that. I'm like, what? And then uh, the guy who did uh, Fast Lane did the chorus on that song. Uh, Fastlane is the song with Eminem and is, is the Bad Meets Evil song with Worst of Five Nine. I honestly got confused. I might have to listen to that track again, but other than that, I mean, like, to, I'm I'm really tired, but I'm really glad I stayed up. Who knew I would stay stay up in 2024 and listen to a new Eminem album in 2024? Who knew I would stay up and listen to a new Eminem album? I don't even know. But I'm glad I did because I really do like this album a lot. Uh, I'm just really happy to see a lot of people like, <clears throat> you know, be fans of Eminem again. I'm not saying that he never had fans, obviously. Eminem is one of the biggest artists ever. I'm just saying, like, with all these, like, with, like, the recent, you know, controversy of, like, how Eminem is, you know, not a good rapper. Well, I mean, he's a good rapper, but, like, how he doesn't make good albums anymore. Some shit like that. This album is amazing. I mean, I like the Easy Mill track he did. Got a little thrown off because of 
you know, easy mill coming in. But it was Head Honcho. That was a pretty good song. Uh, Brand New Dance is also a pretty good song. Um, I believe he has a song from Relapse, which is uh, Same Old Dance or something like that. But I can leave him on. Oh, no, no. It's a... Um, same song and dance, yeah, same song and dance. That was also a really good song from the Relapse album. And it kind of just reminded me of the brand new dance for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, Renaissance is pretty good. It's really, it's the most fitting way ever. Because, like, Eminem just started off the album by saying, fuck blind people. It's like, <laughs> it's like, man, how, this is definitely the death of some shit, ain't it? He had to make sure the funeral was paid for. And I'm glad he did it, because this was a really nice album. Yeah, I'm feeling this album. Uh, I give it a, I give it like a, probably like a 7.58. I'm not Anthony Fantano. But you know what's funny, though? As much as I like Anthony Fantano, and I really do like that guy, I just, I don't know, I feel like a lot of his fans, I don't know, they'll, they'll probably listen to the album, and then... You know, they'll like it, but then they'll listen to Anthony Fantano. If Anthony Fantano doesn't give give a good review on the album, but he gives it like I don't know, a five out of ten or something, or like a four out of ten, right? Or he gives it like you know a white a white flannel or like a red flannel for some reason, right? Let's say he does that. His fans, like his actual like fan base that like actually cares about his opinions and base their opinions on him. They would probably like also be like, "Oh, this album sucks," because Anthony Fantano says it sucks. But no, this is a really good album. The production's really good, though. The lyrics, I feel like, could have done a little more. But what more can you ask? Because this is the death of some shady. This is the death of the uh, alter ego that Eminem created while taking a shit on the toilet. Really good album, though. Give it a. Uh, Eight. Eight out of ten. Seven point five eight out of ten. Yeah. Alright. Take care.